Donald Trump is clearly skilled enough at con artistry to cheat his way through an election and steal the presidency. But as good as he is at the whole fraud thing, he's just as good at sabotaging himself by saying or doing the dumbest thing possible at the worst possible time for him. We just saw a prime example of that when Trump abruptly turned what had been a comparatively quiet news day into a flaming toxic waste dump. Donald Trump's SAT scores were so embarrassingly low that he made threats against anyone who might have been tempted to release them publicly, but we suspect that even Trump has just enough brain cells to count to 20. That's the number of Senate Republicans who would have to go along with impeachment if it's going to result in his ouster. When it comes to the GOP we're talking about a bunch of corrupt wishy-washy cowards, of course. But they've spent the past week voting against Trump in increasing numbers because they're getting the sense that his criminal scandals are going to take him down and they don't want to go down with him. The key number is 12 because that's how many GOP senators just voted against Trump on what he considers his most crucial issue, his national emergency border wall stunt. It was four last week and now it's 12, so it could be even higher by the time this comes back for a veto override vote. If and when it does reach 20, it's time for Trump to panic. If 20 Senate Republicans are willing to vote to kill Trump's wall fantasy, then they're probably willing to vote to remove him from office if they conclude that it's what's selfishly best for their own Senate re-election chances.